Hello, Chris from Backlight here, and today I wanted to show you the new share management feature now available in Iconic for admins. So sharing is a great feature in Iconic because Iconic isn't just a media management tool. It's also a powerful solution for sharing, collaboration, and review. Let's have a look at a quick example to set the scene. I could share this asset. I'll add myself as a recipient. Ask for a review. We'll call it share management. And we can select a number of options if we wish to, including adding a password. And we'll send. So the person in question will receive this link. And now they can add notes to the session. They can add annotations and do whatever else it is they need to do with that shared content. But what if you want more control over what people are actually sharing from your iconic domain? That's what the new share management feature is all about, giving you more insight and control over what's being shared. So let's take a look at share management in action. Let's go to our admin interface and click on share management. And here it is, the share management UI. Via this UI, admins can monitor and manage every shared asset in an iconic domain. You can actually see up at the top here the share I just sent, and we can see that one person has looked at it. The share management UI gives you a lot of information like this. Starting on the left here, you can see the share itself, the specific item that's been shared, whether that's a single asset or an entire collection, whether the share is a request for review and approval or a standard share, the last visit to that share, the number of visits to that share, when the share was created, and who it was created by. Finally, you can see whether the share is currently active or expired. You can also open up the filter panel to drill down further into your shares with options to filter by date created, share creator, and whether it's a standard or review request share. And we can reorder by share title, item, type, date created, or status. You can also jump right into a shared item or collection just by clicking it. You have a few options around how you can manage shares from this view. If you click the three dot icon here on the right, you can delete that share. But you can also control things with a lot more granularity. Let's select this shared asset. Here, you can see we have options to change the custom title, the assets metadata, the expiry date, and other features such as allowing others to download, modify, review, or view transcriptions. Let's change the title. And we'll also change the expiry date. So if we go back to share management, and if we refresh, we'll be able to see that the share title has changed and that will reflect for anyone accessing that share. If we quickly jump into another asset and go to recipients, we can see all the people with whom that asset is shared. We can see whether they're a user or received the share by email, how many times they visited the asset and when the last visit was. And again, if you want to use the three dot menu, you can delete that share recipient specifically. Let's go back to share management. So share management complements Iconic's existing system share settings. From here, you can set domain wide requirements for shares, such as not allowing download or requiring every share to require a password for viewing. And that's share management in Iconic. 
We hope you find this feature useful in getting better insight and control over how your team is sharing from Iconic. Thanks for watching.